In today's video, I wanted to give you guys the best kind of understanding of how John Frusciante uses the MXR micro amp, specifically on the Unlimited Love era of tours that we've seen over the past year. Now, the MXR micro amp has been John Frusciante's kind of cleanish boost of choice for, you know, pretty much all of his stints with the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and it's a fundamental part of his rig, even though it might not seem like it's that important having a clean boost, the way John Frusciante uses it is just a key component of his rig in a live context. Now in terms of his main stint with the Red Hot Chili Peppers for the Californication by the way in Stadium Arcadium era, throughout that era there was kind of some theories that were going around that the MXR mic ramp at times at least was left always on to kind of help boost his signal for his pedal board, but especially in at least the Unlimited Love era, we know that that just is not true and there are specific times that John Frusciante is actually using this pedal. Now before we get into the actual examples that I'm going to show you guys here, I have to kind of give a bit of a disclaimer at least to how we're going about this. Now just due to the stadiums that the Red Hot Chili Peppers have been playing, there really are no side seats. There are no places on the side of the stage where people can actually sit and take footage where you can easily see the side of the pedal board and what pedals John is stepping on. So for this, especially when trying to figure out the pedals that John is using, sometimes we have to take some guesswork and just use visual clues and tonal cues as well from the clips in order to understand what he is using. Now in terms of a clean boost, it's rather easy to tell when you know John Frusciante is using the MXR mic ramp versus something like the Boss SD1 or the DS2. Really, if his sound gets louder and you know, a little bit more gain is added, of course, from the mic ramp, but not a ton. We know that it's going to be the MXR mic ramp, especially when he's stepping to the very far left side of his pedal board when he's looking down at it. If you're John looking down at it and he steps on something kind of pretty much to the end on the left side, you guys will be seeing a photo of his pedal board up. We know that that is going to be the MXR mic ramp because nothing in the vicinity of that pedal is going to give you anything that sounds like that at all. You have the Big Muff and you have the DS2s. None of those are gonna give you that sound of the micro amp. So it's pretty obvious when he's stepping on it, even though we don't have visual, like an actual visual shot of him stepping on the micro amp. And that's how I usually like to go about these videos is getting, you know, where you guys can literally see him step on that pedal, but I'm doing my best with, you know, the footage that we have from this tour. So the first example I thought I'd go over is one of my favorite songs actually off of Stadium Arcadium, and it is Hey. Now, John's use of the micro ramp here again, as I just mentioned, we don't actually have a direct shot of him stepping on the pedal, but you can tell when he's stepping on a pedal to the left, his clean sound just gets louder. You're not hearing, you know, something that would be the Boss SD1 or like a DS2, that's for sure. So John is using the micro amp for that kind of little solo he plays during the chorus of Hey. Right after the vocals end, John will play just a beautiful lead line. And then when the vocals kick back in, John actually turns the micro amp off. Now, one thing that's kind of in common with a lot of these examples you guys are going to be hearing is John's not getting a massive clean boost with the micro amp. He's not, you know, getting just a huge volume jump that's, that's just insane. It's not totally subtle, but it's not a huge jump as well. So keep that in mind as well. You have to really listen to it hard, but again, with the visual cues, it's how we tell that that's what he's using. What you I'm just really glad that Hey is a song that they've kind of added back into the rotation of their set list as well. It's just fantastic and John's tone there as you guys already just heard is it's fantastic and the way his backing vocals are and then with Anthony's vocals just the whole vibe of the song is really really good and it's uh it's definitely in a, just a great one that they've added back to the set list. The next example here is a total fan favorite and it's Soul to Squeeze. Now John will use the MXR micro amp for the solo of the song. Again, it's not one where he needs anything like overdrive from the Boss SD1 or a heavy distortion sound from the Boss DS2, but he just needs again that elevated clean tone, you know, just a little bit of a boost, a touch of gain added as well. Um. Thank you. 
Now, first of all, to squeeze, John Frusciante will actually leave the MXR micro amp on for that kind of breakdown that occurs after the solo. But once the vocals kick back in and there's a pause in the guitar playing, John turns the MXR micro amp off. Now, in that footage as well, you guys would have seen John stepping on the Dynacomp from MXR. Are. That, however, is going to be just a separate video where I discuss John's use of the MXR Dynacomp. So subscribe to the YouTube channel if you guys want to be in the loop of when that video comes out. The next example is one I've already touched on on the channel before, but I had to include it in this video because it's a very important part of John's use of the MXR micro app. Californication, just another utter fan favorite, one of, you know, my personal favorite Red Hot Chili Pepper songs. I mean, how can it not be? John Frusciante uses the MXR micro app for the solo on Californication as well. <laughs> And with our three examples that we've gone over so far, and we have a couple more to go, I'm sure you guys are already getting a good understanding of when John is using the MXR micro amp and kind of its true purpose in his rig. A solo like Californication or those little solos in Hey, where again, he just needs a lift. He wants to punch through the mix a little bit more, touch more gain, some volume added as well. The micro amp is perfect for that sort of thing and it works really well in the context of his rig and just does a job differently than any of the other pedals on his pedal board can do. And I know for a lot of you guys too, especially with clean boost, a lot of comments I get are, well, why can't you just turn your amp up? Or why would you want a clean boost? Why would you want something that really, you know, alters your tone a lot more and colors it a lot more? Well, for Shantae's bass tone is incredible for one thing. And I doubt, you know, he really wants to change and shape it all that much for these solos. He just wants it to be louder and that's what it's used for. If you're at home and just using a clean boost, you know, yeah, you could just turn your amp up, but if there are specific times, for example, you need your sound to be quieter and then louder and then go back to quieter again or anything like that, a clean boost is really just a must have sort of pedal. Our next example is one that I actually didn't catch the first handful of times I watched this song being performed live and it's snow. Now for snow, especially on the record, when the final chorus repeats and it goes over again, everything starts to build. Of course, there's overdubs of guitars and everything else, and the song really starts to build to that kind of climactic ending solo. Now live, what happens is John plays the exact same guitar parts for the chorus that he was playing. However, he steps on the micro amp just again, give him a little bit more punch and help to kind of recreate a bit of the building part of the chorus as it's repeating over again before he goes into the final solo. Now, from what I can tell as well, John actually doesn't go and turn off the micro amp before the solo starts, that outro solo. He actually leaves the micro amp on for the remainder of the song. Moving on to our final example, and it's for Can't Stop. Now, the tone of Can't Stop, if you've watched any footage from the Unlimited Love Tour, his tone definitely has a lot more of a punch. It's a lot more present in the mix for a clean sound than it normally is for a lot of the other songs that he's playing. And I had heavily theorized that he was using the MXR microamp kind of always on for this song, but I didn't have any evidence of this until I actually went back and watched the Fonda Theater performance. And right as John's about to launch into the main riff of Can't Stop, he walks over to his pedal board and turns on the MXR microamp, and the difference is extremely noticeable.
and the MXR micro ramp is left on until they go into the bridge section. That's when John goes back and turns the MXR micro ramp off. And again, you can really, you definitely do notice that drop from the MXR micro ramp not being on. The guitar definitely sits back a lot more and in Can't Stop, the guitar is kind of the main driving force of that song and it's what needs to be very present and almost in your face for that song to sound like it's supposed to. Now with that said, what's really interesting is that in this performance at least, John actually doesn't turn the MXR microamp back on and the guitar is lost for kind of the remainder of the performance of the song. That main riff definitely isn't punching as much kind of through the mix as it normally should and that's kind of interesting to hear from this specific example at least. Now this brings me around to the theory of him using the MXR micro amp, and this is really the only time I've been able to tell that he's actually even turning on any pedals at all when they go into Can't Stop. And my kind of theory based around this is that actually when they do Can't Stop, because normally it's the very first song, when they perform it, it's usually the very first song of the night. What John actually does is he has the MXR micro amp on before they go into the song. Even during the intro jam, the micro amp is on. And then when they go into Can't Stop, he doesn't need to run over and turn the pedal on for the song. It's already on and he's ready to go and it's just left on. So I think that is what's going on. Of course, we can't confirm this for 100% or anything, but I feel pretty confident saying that that's what he's doing. Leaving the MXR micro ramp on for the intro jam and then just going into Can't Stop. So even, you know, maybe Henry, before John actually walks out on stage, has those pedals set on for him. It's hard to tell. I haven't seen anything that kind of contradict that. But either way, I do truly believe that that is what is happening. So I hope today's video helped give you guys at least a bit of a better understanding of how John Frusciante is using the MXR microamp and why it's such an important pedal within the context of his rig. Again, these videos to do are very difficult just based on the nature that we really have no side stage footage at all of any of the performances. If we had that, it'd be so much easier to Number one, obviously provide the correct video evidence, you know, you actually see him stepping on the pedal versus taking very educated guessing when it comes to this. And two, it'd just be a lot easier to sit through and watch someone's footage of, you know, a few songs and be like, okay, this pedal then, 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 and okay, done, it's easy. So it's definitely not, it's not as easy as it might seem in order to do, but I wanted to kind of build up the evidence that I can and, you know, make a video with a few different examples. And again, I'll be doing that for the MXR Dynacomp as well. I'll be doing that for a few different pedals that John's doing. Um, I might do a follow-up actually to the one I did on the Boss SD1 because there's a few other times he's using it as well that I'd like to share and kind of document for you guys. So again, if you're interested in all these videos and you like today's episode, please hit subscribe. It lets me know that I'm doing a really great job um, with these videos as well, and I greatly appreciate it. And until the next time, you guys, thank you so very much for watching. Take care. We'll see you soon.